What's it like and now getting into a groove and getting to play consistently at least over the last couple of games uh, to get you where you are at contributing on both ends of the ice? Uh, yeah, I've been feeling pretty good and uh, in the games and happy to be part of the team again and you know like I said in previous interviews there's so many good players on this team and not everybody can play so uh, yeah, I'm happy to be with the team and uh, trying to trying to win something here. Not sure whether Williams going to be ready to play tomorrow night, but you've been able to play with a couple of different lines. Uh, so much talent here. It really has to be of, of benefit no matter where you are. You know you're going to be playing with some good hockey players. Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, uh, playing with uh, a locker room full of really skilled guys and hardworking guys, so it's uh, pretty easy to play with everybody. And, uh, you know, this season I've been kind of hopping back and forth with uh, with uh, every line and you know, gotten to play with some uh, outstanding players. Ben Smith scores a big goal in Bridgeport and you do a lot of the trench work. How gratifying is it to, to win battles behind the red line, get the puck up to him where he goes to score on the back end and knowing you had a good good thing to deal with it? Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, I know I know Benny Smith's a great player and I, uh, you know, I found him in the slot there and gave it to him and uh, he did his magic there. So uh, I think... Uh, Everybody knows uh, what all, all, all of the players can do on this team. And, uh, you know, we just got to really work hard and push their D and, uh, you know, find the slot and uh, make things happen. You've played some big hockey over the course of the last 12 months at this level and, of course, at the World Junior level. How, how has that hastened your progress moving forward and getting better and, and getting you to where you want to be in a year or a year or two from now? Yeah, it's been a pretty crazy year this this year, and uh, I was happy to go back home and play World Juniors, and and then uh, play a couple of games with the Leafs this year, and uh, it's just it's just good for your confidence, and uh, you know, kind of know what to expect next year, and uh, there's a lot of work to be done for uh, for next year, obviously, but. Right now, I'm just focusing on the playoffs with the Marlies and uh, trying to win something. What can you tell us about Albany? What stands out as the coaches prepare this this team for what's going to be a real tough series? Uh, they're really good defensively. That's that's one thing I I know. Um, you know, they got some good D and uh, good defensive forwards as well, and they don't they don't let in too many goals. So uh, we got to try to find something for that and you know, uh, make them pay. Uh, final question, Kasperi, and, and, and the Finns that are going to be drafted high in the draft, obviously you know these guys well. What is it about that small country that has enabled it to produce so many quality players and you guys are winning world championships? I don't know, but I, I hope it doesn't uh, end in the near future. I mean, uh, yeah, we had a good year with the Finnish, uh, Finnish hockey this year, and uh, you know, hopefully we keep it up. But uh, guys that are going to go high in this draft are really astounding players, and it's been, uh, it's been really nice to play with them in World Juniors and see, uh, see them develop and, you know, I wish them the best of luck.